Hi, this is a video for my new app, Verbal Chess. It enables you to play against other people on Lee Chess, or against the two different computer engines, or even blindfold using only your voice. Actually, the entire program can be controlled by only your voice. At the bottom of this screen, which is the main screen, you'll see it says, say the word command, followed by the word explain for help on any screen. Command explain. And up will come a screen, which will give you a description of what to do. And here it says that you say the word command, followed by any menu item or button text. Done is also a special word. That gets you out of any screen to the previous screen. It works on every screen. Command done. And now we're back at the main screen. Let's go ahead and play the computer. Command play computer. Shall we play a game? So here's a board with some uh, options set. It says that we're going to play white. We're going to use the Komodo engine at the very basic skill level. Command explain. Again, now we get how to make moves. It says to make a move, you say the word play, followed by the algebraic notation. I won't go into all the details. We'll just play the game. So command done. Well, let's go ahead and play it as is. Command start game. Make move. So let's say I want to move the knight out to f3. Play knight f3. Knight to f3. Knight to f6. And the computer playing the Komodo engine Response. Play g3. g3. Knight to c6. Play bishop g2. Bishop to g2. d5. Play castle. Castle. Bishop to g4. Play d4. d4. e6. Now here's an example. The both knights can go to d2. So if I just say play knight d2. Move not possible or ambiguous. Play knight b d2. Knight on file b to d2. Bishop to d6. And I think we have an idea of what's going on here. So we can go ahead and end this game. Command end game. We could go ahead and say command no. And it will switch to no. But I don't want to do that. Command yes. Command done. Command done. And now we're back at the main screen. So let's go ahead and play a blindfold game. Command play blindfold. Shall we play a game? And again, we'll just go ahead and take what's gotten here. And uh, this is very similar to the chess viz uh, play blindfold, but here we can do it with all voice commands. So, and in essence, we could close our eyes, uh, sit back in our recliner. So again, command start game. Make and, move. and the pieces disappear and they turn into the discs. Play D4. D4. D6. Play queen D3. Queen to D3. F6. Play knight F3. Knight to F3. Knight to d7. So let's end this and go look at Lee Chess. Command end game. Command done. Command done. Command play Lee Chess. One thing you need to do before you can start playing is that you have to give verbal chess permission to play on your account. And we'll go ahead and do that. I have connected already. There are two different types of pairings that you can do. One is the rapid 10-minute uh, to up to 30-minute pairings, and then correspondence, which is like one day, three day, five day. And uh, you can also get a list of the open games. We'll go ahead and do a rapid pairing last because uh, then I'll actually be playing a real person. So I have several correspondence games already uh, in operation. 
So let's take a look at the list. Command Open Games list. So I have five games, and you can see that three of them have the asterisk on uh, white or black, and that says whose move it is. And the white or black is me. And uh, just as an example of uh, the explanation, uh, Command Explain. You can display the uh, particular game by saying command and the game number. So let's say uh, command game one. So it retrieved the layout for game one, showed it to us, and now the go to game button is lit. So we can uh, say that command go to game. Bishop to b7. And it tells us the last move that our opponent made, gives us how much time we have left, and it's uh, our turn to make a move. So I'm going to go ahead and just skip this one. Command done. Let's go ahead and look at the second one. Command game two. Command go to game. Bishop to g5. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just pull a bishop out. Play bishop e3. No. Move not possible or ambiguous. Play bishop e7. Bishop to e7. And now if you look at the upper right side of the screen, you'll see it now has says waiting. We're waiting on the opponent, and they have 72 hours to make a move. And we're not going to sit around and wait, so let's just command done. Let's go ahead and, and play somebody. Command done. Command rapid pairing. So this says we're going to create a rapid challenge. We're going to have a random color. It's not rated. And it's 10 minutes with five second increments. Let's say we wanted to change these. Command options. And let's say I wanted to play black. Command color to play. Command play as black. Command done. Command done. So let's see if anybody wants to play. Command challenge. This will wait up to 30 seconds to see whether or not anyone accepted the challenge. We've got an opponent. Play C5. C5. Bishop to C4. Play A6. F6. Knight to F3. Play B5. B5. So as you can see, we're playing knight c6. Knight to c6. Knight to g5. Play e6. E6. I'll probably end up trimming a little. Bishop takes c6. Play d takes c6. D takes c6. D3. Play knight f6. Knight to f6. Queen to f3. Play h6. h6. e5. Play h takes g5. h takes g5. e takes f6. Play queen d5. Queen to d5. f takes g7. Play bishop takes g7. Bishop takes g7. Queen takes d5. Play c takes d5. C takes d5. Bishop takes g5. Play bishop takes b2. Bishop takes b2. Castle. Play bishop takes a1. Bishop takes a1. C3. Play rook g8. Rook to g8. H4. 
play bishop b7. Bishop to b7. F4. Play b5. Play b4. Possible or ambiguous. Play b4. C takes b4. Play bishop d4. Bishop to d4 check. King to h1. Play c takes b4. C takes b4. H5. Play rook g8. Move not possible or ambiguous. Play rook h8. Rook to h8. H6. Play f6. F6. F5. Play f takes g5. F takes g5. F takes e6. Play rook takes h6. Rook takes h6 checkmate. Well, I ended up winning that game. How about that? Command done. Command done. So let me show you how you connect to uh, uh, Lee Chess. So let me disconnect. Command disconnect. Command yes. Command done. So now it says I have to connect to Lee Chess. Command connect to Lee Chess. So this tells you what's going to happen, that it's going to bring up a screen on LeeChess.org where you're going to log into your Lee Chess account and give uh, Verbal Chess uh, permission to play. Uh, command Connect. So this is uh, a LeeChess.org page where you give permission. And um, this is the only part where you actually have to touch the screen, and that is you tap Authorize. And then it tells you you're connected, and then you have to tap the screen, the little X, to close the browser. And now you're all connected, and uh, you can do uh, Command uh, Open Games List. And there are my games. Uh, command Done. Command Done. Uh, that's about it. Um, as you know... Uh, from uh, ChessViz, if you've used that. Um, uh, I love uh, feedback, uh, so just send me uh, an email, henry at chessviz.com. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, bye.